here we're going to take a look at what we call effusion of a gas not to be confused with diffusion of a gas so effusion of a gas is a situation where gas is contained maybe in one cylinder or one container like this with maybe a small opening to the side and so gas will leak through that small opening but it turns out that the smaller molecules which of course therefore move faster make it through a little hole in greater quantity than the larger molecules not because of size so much but more because of the velocity which they travel so if you want to separate out molecules that are smaller you can do it through the process of what we call effusion so the definition here effusion is a process where a gas under pressure can move from one container to another container through a small opening or a porous wall so sometimes this can simply be done because the membrane in between has small tiny little openings where gas can travel through and therefore the smaller molecules which travel much faster will make it through the other side much quicker and so after a while you stop the process and what you have in here is a much greater percentage of the small molecules compared to the large molecules and that's called a fusion turns out the equation we use for that to calculate that is exactly the same as the diffusion equation it's all about the velocity and therefore the size of the molecules so we can save the effusion rate and so effusion rate uh, where is that the equation is in the diffusion so let's write it down so effusion rate er is equal to the what we call effusion rate and so therefore the effusion rate of one type of molecule divided by the effusion rate of another type of molecule so this is simply the relation between one and the other or the fraction of one to another is equal to the square root of the mass of the second one divided by the square root of the mass of the first one so they're inversely proportional to the square root of the mass again for the very same reason that VRMS is equal to the square root of 3 RT over the molar mass with other words the RMS velocity is equal or is proportional to 1 over the square root of the molar mass and that's why the effusion rates are like that so if we do an, another example let's say we have the hydrogen molecule and we have the nitrogen molecule what are the, the effusion rates of one compared to the other so the effusion rate of the hydrogen molecule divided by the effusion rate of the nitrogen molecule is equal to the square root of the molar mass of the nitrogen molecule divided by the molar mass of the hydrogen molecule so this is equal to the square root of the molar mass of nitrogen since the diatomic molecule would be twice 14 grams that would be 28 grams divided by the square root of the molar mass of the hydrogen which would be 2 grams the reason why we don't have to convert to kilograms is because we're just simply taking the ratio which means that this is the square root of 14 and the square root of 14 is let's take a look take the square root of that is 3.74 so 3.74 which means that if we have a mixture of hydrogen and nitrogen gas in one container with a small little hole or a porous membrane the number of hydrogen molecules making it to the other side would be 3.74 times as many as the number of nitrogen molecules so you'd have eventually 3.74 times as many hydrogen molecules than, than the nitrogen molecules so if you go through this process and you want to then figure out what you have on the other side you'll have almost four times as many of the hydrogen compared to the nitrogen molecules as you did in the initial sample of the gas and that's called effusion and that's how we figure out the effusion rate